Welcome to the Holy Yogi. Hi, I am Ilan Bomani, and we're in the mission of helping you find the guru inside of you. Hey, how you doing today? You see my shirt today? Peace, peace, peace. I am marinating in absolute peace. Unfortunately, was going out in Charlottesville, Virginia. If you're in the United States of America, we have a couple of wars going on, and I'm the first to tell you, you can find peace in war. So I've been doing a lot of prayer and meditation, a good hour meditation on bringing light and love and more peace into the world because you have to be the change that you're looking for. I want to live in a peaceful, happy world. So that's what I'm marinating in. And so in my world, there's only peace, there's only love, there's only happiness, there's only joy. And that's why I am experiencing it. So that's why I'm going to suggest for you to do too, off on a slight tangent. But a message of the day is that I got a message from a gentleman today in a post that I did on Facebook and I told to him I, I shared with him and everybody else in my audience that the only sin in life is believing that you are a sinner and he was like Elon that was powerful I can relate to that but can you really break it down to to me can you really explain to me exactly what you mean by that statement so that's what our message is to hear for him today, and I'm going to share it with him, and I'm going to also share it with you. In a nutshell, what I mean by the fact that the only sin in life is to believe that you are a sinner is that in some religions, they automatically state, and I think it is in a Christian religion, that you were born a sinner. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, I grew up in a typical African-American Christian household, so I've heard all the propaganda, I've heard all the statements as far as God and religion and Jesus Christ is concerned. And that never ever, even since I was knee high to a duck, sat right with me that I was bad, that I was inferior, that I was lower than a worm or a totem pole or whatever the case may be. I'm like, no, that, didn't, that did not resonate with me. My spirit was telling me that I was in abundance. I mean, create, keep in mind, I read the Bible and I may have been a young kid, but I got it when it says, you were created in the likeness of the image of God. That I'm powerful, I am omnipotent, I am superior than all that life could have to offer. And even Jesus has said in the Bible, you would do things even greater than I. I mean, he was saying to me that I'm even better and grander than him. And that we, if we realize that, then we'll be able to create massive success. So what I mean by that real simple is that you were born an angel. You were born a God and a goddess. And with that power inside of you, there is absolutely nothing that you can't accomplish and you can't do. It can't get any higher than that. You can have the best of health. You can have the best of wealth. You can have the best of relationships and realize all of the dreams that are available to you. And so the reason why I say it is sin, it is negative, it is very bad to have that attitude, is that some people, it will benefit a whole lot of people for you to believe that because they want you to believe that your source of your power is found outside of them. Now, be a lot of experts out of business. We've been taught and conditioned to believe that in order to, you know, build and fortify our spirit, we must go to the pastor. In order to, to fortify our, our, um, our health, we must go to the doctor. And in order to fortify our psyche, we gotta go to a psychiatrist. Well, I'm here to tell you, your end, ladies and gentlemen, all that you need is already endowed inside of you. All you have to do is tap into the diva or tap into the divine inside of you to get all the answers to accomplish all of your dreams. Now, if those people, society, government, etc., even your parents and your friends and loved ones, loved ones, that's all that they knew. That's all that they grew up. So forgive them. They know not better than what they do, okay, and what they've experienced. So we're going to forgive them. They didn't mean to do that, to tell you that. It's just been conditioned upon them. I'm here to share with you that you can have all of those things. And that's what I'm saying, the greatest sins believe that you're inferior. The greatest sins believe that you have to find your answers outside of yourself. That's when the sinning 
begins. That's when the tragedy begins because that means that you have a low self-esteem. That means that you have to define your identity based upon your sex or your race or your job occupation or the relationship that you're in right now defines you. That person telling you that you're something based upon that they so-called are loving you. So when you know how powerful you are, you know you don't need any outside source. Well, that's going to be put a lot of people out of business, all those experts, when you realize that you are your greatest expert, that you are your divine essence, that you are your yogi inside of you. That gives you back your power. That gives you back the reality that you're in control of your destiny. We've been taught to believe that when things happen to us, God did it to me. No. We all know what is God, ladies and gentlemen. I pause for the cause for the for a reason. Who is God? God is perfection. God wants the best for you. God did nothing to you. There's no jealous God. There's no angry God. No, 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 no. God is only love. Unconditional love. It can't get any better than that. So many of us, unfortunately, we only know the conditional stuff, okay? It has conditions. You do this for me, and I will do this for you type of thing. No, God is so much more superior than that, okay? So I want you to fully understand that you're it, that you're it, that you're it, and you have everything that you need in order to succeed. So that's what I mean about the greatest sin of them all, because you are blocking your blessings when you look outside of yourself, because other people are going to, self-preservation is the greatest natural human instinct, and everybody else is going to focus on trying to get you to do what they want you to do for their own self-aggrandizement, for their own empowerment, for their own living, and that's what we tend to do. We give our power away to everybody else, and lo and behold, like me, because I gave my power away, ladies and gentlemen, I found myself homeless with $36 on my checking account and a little baby of a year and a half years old in my arms that I was responsible for. That's when I became or fully understood who I really was because I basically gave up my power to other people and that caused me to live a sinful life. That's when disease started to manifest inside of me. That's when poverty started to manifest inside of me. And that's why I was in destructive, dysfunctional relationships. So once I tapped into the diva inside of me, well, all of that became no more. And now I live an abundant life. That's why I'm sharing this with you because I want you to live the optimum life that you know, I'm living, you know, you know, it said it in the, in the constitution, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It said in constitution, it's available to you. So why not live it out? Why not experience it? It's in writing. It's right there on that piece of paper. So even though people are trying to change it, I'm going to ask you, sin no more. <laughs> and know that you are the God goddess inside of you and live a phenomenal life. See you next time. It's the Holy Yogi where we help you find my the guru inside of you. Bye bye for now.